So during our last video, folks, Rubik's was behind me. This is his closet. Hey, get out of there. He's going to get, he's, he says, this is where all my toys are. And, uh-oh. Are we still rolling? Yeah, so he just knocked my, that's how crazy these dogs get, folks, about uh, playing with their toys. Am I making a lot of noise with this? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to show you. He, now, he's recovering from a little knee injury. But I just want to show you a little bit of tug of war. Uh, come on over here, Rubik's. Um, and this is a, a toy. Good boy. Good boy. They go crazy over these things. See? And so you don't want to get your hands in there when he's going after this. And uh, OK, out, out. OK, again. Yeah. Uh, good boy, good boy, out. Yes. Now there's a lot about this online. Oh, microphone's off again. <laughs> microphone's off again. Uh, there's a lot about this online. I'm not sure he knocked my mic off twice on how you do this. Do it safely and do it for a purpose. But uh, you can see he goes crazy over this, and it's good for his bite development. And, uh, you know, there are some people that say negative things that teaches the dog to be aggressive, but duh, he's a personal protection dog. He needs to be aggressive when, when it's appropriate. Right, Ruby? Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh my mic again, I guess. <laughs> don't bite the mic. Please don't bite the mic. That's more expensive than the toy. So anyway, that's a little bit of a tug of war. There's complete instructions on this uh, all over the place to, to do this. I mean, there's a lot to uh, playing tug of war and how it can really help your dog in its protection work.